Hey guys, so today we will create a professional product rendering of this industrial screwdriver. And this is our final part of this tutorial series. So if you want to learn how to create that 3D model, check out the first part. I will show you how to create this 3D model completely from scratch. So you can follow along in plasticity. You can also download this exact screwdriver as an OBJ and FBX link in the description. All right, so before we start with this amazing tutorial, I just wanted to let you know that I have a huge 13 hour plus masterclass just on Cinema 4D and Octane product rendering and I will guide you through the whole professional process of modeling, texturing, shading, materials, lighting, compositing and post-production. And here are some results of my students that took the class in just a few weeks. Absolutely crazy. So yeah, check out first link in the description and let's start with this tutorial. So I've imported here my little screwdriver. Also the references uh, link here from Behance, really, really beautiful, cool designs. And yeah, I will just recreate exactly this piece here because yeah, I've planned already some videos and yeah, I just want to use that image here with some text. So I like that really much. And yeah, you will learn a lot about materials and lighting and that just looks beautiful. So import that. And first of all, what we will do is let's create here a square and first of all create a camera which we will put here just to zero everything out and press F2 go to perspective yeah I think our screwdriver is a little bit too small so yeah I will just scale it a little bit up and I will bring just the camera so yeah I will just adjust it a little bit and I will start the octane viewer and the camera I just want to make 150 millimeters or something so it just looks nice and flat and product rendery kind of style. So yeah, basically this is what we want. Maybe I just want to rotate the screwdriver or no, let's leave it as is and then just in post. Also what I like to do, shift V, go to the view and opacity here 95%. So it's just black. So if we start here, it will be also black here and directly save this file. And yeah, maybe we can go even higher and let's bring that down here. Okay, so that's cool. And we can basically start and I will just here go to the content manager and just import a rig, a scene rig. So it's from Nico Media. Check that out. Really cool. Just, I don't know, $15 save so much time and it's really cool so yeah i will just drag that in here but you also can just use here hdi environment and texture environment and yeah use that so it's exactly the same process so i will open here my reference image and first of all i want to inspect that so yeah we have definitely light source here on the left on the right maybe on the top a few cool materials here i adjusted a little bit here the angle because yeah it looked weird now it's fine so yeah, I have loaded some very basic HDI environment, but we will create the lighting ourselves in a second. So let's start here maybe with the materials. And we have this dotted yeah, plastic or something, which is a little bit rough. So let's start that first by just create a material and go to materials, uh, no extension cinema for, for the octane and create here a composite material or if you have it here as a shortcut and let's call that just dotted. Inside of this material, if we go in, we have here this composite. So, so what we can do, we can take here a sub material and yeah, maybe we don't even need the, this composite material, but yeah, we just create a sub material and let me think. First of all, yeah, let's go glossy here, GGX, and maybe make the roughness a little bit higher. And also to achieve those points, very simple, we will just use an octane noise and put it here into the diffuse. And if we right click it, we see nothing. So go here to the type and circular. Let's go right click and you don't see much really. So if you go to the omega, and it's too big here so we barely see it so go to the projection and drag it out and create a box projection so we start something to see and go to the noise and yeah use the circular here 
and play with the omega, get, go very low, here basically to zero, because then you get this strong contrast. And now play with the gamma, and you see if you bring the gamma very, very high, you get, you start to get those points. And if you additionally increase that contrast, we have this kind of dots. So let's make everything smaller by creating a transform node. And bam, you see, and just make everything very small. But now we have a bit too many of them. So just increase the gamma and play a little bit around with the contrast. And yeah, oh, make also here the settings. I have a, a preset, so just path tracing and here's some make samples. So very simple. And yeah, we have something like that. And I think that looks really cool. So yeah, you see, very simple. And if you start the Octane render, we basically have that already. So that was really quick. Yes, obviously you have to adjust it and all that stuff. But yeah, it's just a simple, quick tutorial. It's also just because I want to create it in the thumbnail. So let me just adjust it here a little bit. And yeah, we have something like that. <laughs> That's basically it. We could give it maybe a little bit color. So you could hear octane gradient between the noise. And I don't know, maybe make that a little bit greenish, just a little bit. So grayish, greenish. Yeah, just a little bit. You could also add some random colors, but yeah, this is fine. So if we go here to the roughness and we make the roughness a little bit higher, we are getting something, but we will adjust it later because that will come with the lighting. And yeah, for that rippled grip, yeah, we would have to unwrap that because I've tried it already, but yeah, I don't want to do that now. So if we just create here an octane glossy material and drag that on it, so let's call it yeah grip or something and let's go into that and yeah, we can just use a gradient, so not an octane gradient, a normal, and put it here to the bump. So if we press right click and type 3D linear and right click double knots, you see we are getting here this gradient and just right click a few more times. So yeah, create this kind of pattern. So white is just bump, black is no bump. So this looks exactly like that if you zoom in. So let's do one more, maybe one more. Yeah, you see it's very thin. And yeah, now because we can't rotate it here, so it would be just better if you yeah unwrap that, of course. But yeah, I just found here a little cheat here. So if we press 3D spherical, you see it's it's fine. But let me go back and yeah, do it like this. So 3D spherical, you see, and if we Octane render that. You see that basically looks exactly the same. And yeah, at the bottom, so it goes here a little bit into this, in, into a sphere. So if I go here off the camera, you see, so it's not exact, but yes. So, you know, sometimes you just have to cheat a little bit. <laughs> and yeah, again, it's just for a thumbnail. So nothing really crazy special. And that's the whole thing. You, when it's just for the thumbnail, like we have here, and you just see the top part and all that stuff, it doesn't need to be everything perfect. And um, yeah, so sometimes you just can spend, um, save some time. So let's go here and let's make the diffuse just a little bit more towards the grayish and also add some roughness, maybe a little bit more and go to the diffuse and make it a little bit brighter. But yeah, we have to see with the lighting. You see, so that's basically fine. Yeah, we can adjust that and make also in post some contrast and all that stuff. But let's create here this metal material. And it looks basically the same as here our screw. So if we create here metallic material and just drag that on here, that looks cool. So let's go in it, octane material. And first of all, yeah, give a little bit of roughness. And let's go to the specular and just make it a little bit darker. Yeah, you see? And now we need, yeah, this kind of noise. So we can achieve that by going into the bump. So let me here zoom in a little bit. 
And again, if you go here to, yeah, let's go Octane Noise to the bump and right click. So you see what's happening and it's too big again. So transform node and the projection node and make the projection to box. So you see, and again, it's not unwrapped, but we don't really need it because if we scale it down, bam, you see, you don't see the seam. So let's make it really, really small. And now you see it's yeah extremely rough and we have this weird shading stuff ongoing. So yeah, we can just increase that a little bit. And also here Octane Render, uh, Octane Gradient between and make the whites very, very dark gray. So it's just a tiny, tiny bit. And also, yeah, basically make this a little bit smaller. And you see then also here roughness, we can bring that a little bit down. And again, for now it's fine, but we have to work on the lighting. So maybe I just bring the specular map a little bit down and specular maybe a little bit higher because yeah, we have a bright light here at the front at the moment. So also let's go to this thing here and select polygons and just UL, select all of those, create a selection, so set selection and let's select this whole body here and again use that material but bring the selection, uh, selection here to the right. So we will create a different material. So basically just again, just a glossy one and snap it here to the solid. But here in the material, in the selection, just drag that polygon selection you see. And also we can drag that same material on that mesh here or on that grid. And let's go into that and create this beautiful mint color. So yeah, something like that, maybe that's too saturated. So something like that, just for now, it's fine. We will adjust that everything. Perfect. So yeah, we basically have that already. So now control S and now let's make that image here a little bit like that. So fit it. And now I go to the octane rig or just go to the lights and just turn them off. So you basically have no lights. And now let's start to create here some lighting. So if we select our object and create an octane targeted area light and we will just bring it here to the left because we have a highlight and you just drag that up. Definitely we have to go visibility, general visibility zero and just adjust a little bit more of the strength here. So don't make that so strong because it's very smooth and also it looks like very big so because we have a strong uh, smooth highlight here so yeah again i'm not really adjusting here anything right now because i want to bring it here to the right as well and just adjust it on that side and maybe now we could just brighten up all of the dark spots i just have here very simple hgi which is just basically a just some white light and some great area, just tiny, tiny bit. So we have something like that. And now we can adjust that light sources a little bit. And yeah, maybe add to this one a little gradient into the texture. So let's go in it and right click and invert. Yes. So we are cutting here a little bit. And it's just gradually smooths out a little bit. And let's go into this material here. And play a little bit with the roughness. Yeah, I want it pretty rough. So yeah, that's fine. And maybe make that gradient, that black a little bit more grayish. Or a little bit brighter. And that white just also a little bit brighter. Yeah, also I think we can make the whole metal material a little bit rougher. So maybe let's do it with the roughness, uh, with the bump. So yeah, you see, because now it's getting a little bit more diffused. So I like this. And I just make the noise a little bit bigger to get rid of those few issues here. 
But again, if you would unwrap that, that would dissolve, but yeah, it still looks good. You see it. It, anyways, like this image has a lot of, um, yeah, grain on it. So we don't really care so much. And also we could maybe add the light here on the top. So just select octane targeted area light and bring here something to the top and make this one light settings very, very, very uh, soft because you see here at this top, we have some reflection here at the top. So you see, we are getting exactly that here and even a little bit bigger and everything a little bit brighter. So you see, we just brighten everything a little bit more up and maybe make that octane material just again, specular a little bit darker. And that's already basically it. So maybe here, this mint material, make this also a little bit brighter. So yeah, we also have here to fill it the highlight, but yeah, I forgot to fill it here. So if you would add the fillet, you would also get this nice sharp highlight. So that's why fillets are nice. But here we have a highlight. We have a black spot like here. So yeah, very simple, basic lighting basically. But yeah, I will do a lot of post editing to adjust that everything. And yeah, also here the color of that and maybe also here that grip a tiny bit brighter. So yeah, you see now you're also getting a little bit more of the shades. And yeah, maybe the whole front side a little bit brighter. So if we select anybody, octane targeted area light and just bring it here to the front and make visibility zero and make it very, very big and just make it really, 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 really tiny bit bright. So you almost don't see it just to brighten a tiny bit here, this front side up. And yeah, so very quick and yeah, I will do some adjustments just small one. It's just a little bit tweaking here and there. And also definitely just post processing a lot because yeah, we can do so much more. I just wanted to record this little short tutorial here because yeah, I want to use it as a thumbnail. And yeah, if you're interested in Cinema 4D and Octane and you want to learn how to create high quality professional product renderings, check out first link in the description, 13 hours masterclass, check out my students results. We go through the whole process, textures, shaders, materials, post compositing, post production, and we will create some really beautiful iPhone product renderings. And yeah, that was our little tutorial series. Yeah, let me know if you watched all of those four parts, what else you would like to see and check out this next video where we'll create some really cool product renderings and see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.